from my heart and from my hand why don't people understand my intention good morning guys welcome back to the channel so slightly different format for this video because i thought i'd take a short opportunity to talk about some of the comments and feedback that i've re recently received which by the way has been absolutely fantastic uh, lots of comments off the back of the challenges that we were having with the suspension. The school is still out on whether it's the quality of the cone set that came with that or whether it's a spring issue, but I'll let you know. Now, in the last eight months, we've had quite a lot of new uh, subscribers to the channel and there are several topics that just keep coming up that I really wanted to try and address. Now, again, I'm not a professional Fixing cars is not my day job. I do have a technical background, but these are just passion projects for me. Now, when I do a project like this and I endeavor on exploring into something like an engine rebuild or uh, you know suspension setup, I always seek out professionals. Now, in this particular case, and those that have been with the channel from the beginning, you'll know I am a fan of the automatic mini. Out of the five classic minis that we own, three of them are actually automatics. So I take that particular topic very seriously. Now, uh, you'll recall that on the grey mini, we had a complete rebuild on the gearbox and it was done by AP2 World in the UK. Now, this is an engineering firm that specializes in rebuilding classic mini gearboxes, automatics, as well as other things. And if you visit their website, you'll see some of the services that they offer. Now, the gentleman that's been helping me with some of the questions related to the gearboxes, automatic gearboxes on the Classic Mini, is a gentleman called Martin Altry. I hope I've got your name right, Martin. But I definitely recommend uh, visiting their website and talking to this gentleman uh, because he is an engineer and he does work a lot with rebuilding these types of gearboxes. Now, one of the topics that actually keeps coming up in the questions and comments relates to the oils that you should use on an automatic classic mini. Now, based on where you are in the world, based on climate, uh, there's a lot of different solutions when it comes to the types of oils that you use. But when I talked to Martin, particularly about the European environments, he had actually two suggestions. You can use the classic 20 weight 50 oil. And I've used the Castrol one for a number of years. Um, and this is absolutely fine for the automatic gearboxes as long as you're driving the car normally. And what I mean by that is that you're not trying to push the limits of performances or you're not enjoying the kick down feature that you get in the mini automatics. Now, I do particularly enjoy that feature and I tend to drive my uh, cars a little bit harder than you probably should do. Now, talking to Martin, he suggested that because it's a wet clutch, and the oil needs to circulate around the engine uh, quickly, he suggested switching to a 10 weight 40 MA2 oil that should allow much easier flow and getting oil to the important parts. Now, uh, again, this is purely based on driving style or the amount of wear and tear that is acceptable for you on your engine. And if you're driving normally, dare I say driving like Miss Daisy, and it's a, just a gentle commute, then stick with the 2850s. But if you like to push it a little further, recommend trying the 10 weight 40 MA2s. Now, I'm gonna do a, a full flush and oil change because I'm gonna leave the gray mini running the Castrol, and I'm gonna switch our Monte Carlo uh, car to a higher performance oil to see if I can really notice any difference. So one of the other topics that I wanted to cover as well was related to a video I posted, I think it was back in January of this year, and it was related to the changes that we were seeing in shipping costs from the UK after Brexit. Now, interestingly enough, if you're in Europe, Minisport sent out an email a week ago to a lot of their customers asking them to provide evidence of the invoices that we were being charged for some of the extortionate costs that were being applied from the export of products from the UK into the European Union. Because it does seem like the freight companies are actually not following all the same rules 
and as a result we're seeing some prices more than double which is absolutely unreasonable and obviously affects their business so I would encourage everybody to if you did receive that email and you are in Europe please reply to it to provide them with as much information as possible so that we can get a fair landscape of some of the extortionate charges that the freight companies are basically applying. Now, I do this purely because my hobby is also suffering, much like the rest of people in Europe, as a direct result of these changes, and it seems somewhat unfair and not within the rules. So one of the other questions I get a lot is related to stuff that's lying around in my workshop. Uh, and again, guys, I feel extremely fortunate that I can have a workshop like this. Um, but I do get a lot of questions related to the lift that I'm actually using in the workshop. And uh, let me just grab this camera and I'll show you. So the lift that I'm using, guys, is this Weber lift, uh, which is a hydraulic one that can lift 3,000 kilos, more than enough for any classic Mini. It is hydraulic based, but it runs from a controller box that just plugs into normal domestic supply. So you don't need an additional circuit uh, to run the lines and the hydraulic line, which is uh, really convenient. So I definitely recommend it. Um, obviously, it doesn't lift uh, the car above your head. It's more like a waist height uh, lift, but I find that more than enough when you're working with minis. Um, so yeah. I'll pop all the information in the description and contents below and by all means visit their website and see the specifications for yourself. And again, this is not sponsorship or discount based. This is purely me sharing with you uh, some of the equipment that I'm using and hope uh, that it's useful. So again, guys, just a short posting. In the next few days, certainly before the weekend, we will post another video related to the Britex Cooper, but I just wanted to get this uh, message out to you guys because, yeah, it's a call to harms. It's also sharing some of the experience and some of the collective feedback that I receive, uh, certainly from some of the professionals that are used to doing this work. And again, please check out AP2 World if you need help with parts, service or rebuilds when it comes to the uh, mini automatics. So uh, for the moment, Again, guys, thank you so much for all the feedback. Keep it coming and look out for the video on the Britex Cooper in the coming few days. For the moment, take care. Bye-bye.